Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I just straightened it up the shed a little bit. Uh, um, how you doing? Doing okay? I'm uh, glad you stopped by. I uh, uh, just trying to keep busy, you know, uh, going through stuff and keeping trying to keep busy. Uh, hopefully everything's going okay. Uh, um, you know, uh, one of the things I've been doing to, to try to keep busy is uh, I'm trying to learn a new language. Yeah, it'll be easier probably to show it to you than explain. Uh, anyhow, that's what I've been doing, working on learning a new language. The uh, written language that I'm trying to teach myself, trying to learn, is the language that was used by uh, hobos in the early 1900s. Uh, here's some examples. This symbol here meant uh, the sky's the limit. This symbol here uh, means a safe campsite. And here's a safe campsite with good water. This one means a good place for a free meal. This symbol here uh, symbolized you can camp here. Means uh, everything's okay. This one here uh, symbolized unsafe drinking water. This one here is kind of unique, beware of four dogs. And this one meant a kind woman lives here. That's just a small sample of uh, the uh, hobo signs from the early 1900s. Although these three uh, older vintage knives don't date back quite to the hobo days, I can see... Um, well, a, a more modern-day hobo uh, using these. Um, you got your uh, Texas toothpick here. I can see that being of use. Here's a uh, older Camp King. Large blade. Can opener. Bottle opener. And a all, or perhaps a, a a little camping knife like this one here. Had your uh, fork, spoon, large blade, and once again the all important can opener. couple more examples. Uh, here's another Texas toothpick here. And another one. All inexpensive knives. Little uh, pocket knife. Uh, got a couple blades on it. Uh, nothing overly extravagant. This uh, knife here perhaps might date the closest back to the hobo era. This is a very, very early Remington Scout knife. Um, it's got some damage as you can see and uh, it has a large blade, a uh, bottle opener, an awl, and a very interesting uh, can opener. Um, this was made by Remington uh, and uh, it's probably the oldest of all these knives. Uh, can't be certain exact date of it but uh, I bet it goes back uh, real close to the early 1900s maybe 1920s something like that. Just remember the sky's the limit. Take care, and thanks for watching.